Hi, my name is Ellen Baloyan. I am a medical oncology resident at the Yolian Hematology and Oncology Center of Yerevan State Medical University. I am also the managing editor of Onco Daily, and I had the pleasure to present my poster at this year's ASCO annual meeting. Me and my co-authors uh, searched for clinical trials in clinicaltrials.gov to find out what was the LMIC involvement in IO trials for the past decade. We searched for relevant keywords and we found 1,283 results, which were analyzed further. Uh, we found that no low-income countries were involved in any of the trials during the past decade and only 2.4% of the trials included any lower middle-income countries. That percentage was 21% for upper middle income countries and higher for high income countries. The lower middle income countries involved in clinical trials were only eight led by Ukraine that had 16 trials, followed by Philippines, Vietnam, India, Egypt, Morocco, uh, Guatemala and Eswatini, each of which had less than 10 trials. The upper middle income country group was led by China, followed by Russia, Brazil, and Mexico. Overall, the most number of trials had USA, followed by European countries, Canada, and Australia. We also searched for pediatric IO trials, and we found that only 80 of 1,200 trials uh, were pediatric inclusive, three of which were done in LMICs. The most trials that were done in LMICs, 90%, was funded by the industry. Our results show that the clinical trials in immune oncology that were done during the past 10 years are not generalizable and do not meet the global cancer burden. Don't forget to like, comment, share, and subscribe to Onca Daily on YouTube. Hit the bell icon to stay updated.